Hello Capricorn Aquarius. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. I appreciate all the support, likes, views, comments. Thank you so much. So if you're new to my channel, the Oracle cards go here which are all for you. The Tarot cards over here which are the energies around you. Feel free to vice versa, the masculine and feminine which is the king and queen on the cards. So take what applies to you and leave what doesn't connect. And welcome cross watchers. So here we go. The first one for you is change direction with ease. So this is beautiful. This is happiness, um, abundance coming to you. There is a time for change, shape shifting, or your soul's evolution. It is time to consider, reconsider what you were wanting. You may be in for a surprise. So some sort of change surprise could be coming into you. 46, facing your fears. So this is the lionfish. Look for ways to strengthen your communication through the universe and, and others. Be peaceful and calm and knowing of who you are. So the lionfish, if he feels threatened, he puffs out twice as big. So there's something probably similar to you is why this is coming up, that when you get scared, people notice because you have a certain tick or a reaction that you predominantly go to that people can read like a book. So it talks about just facing your fears. Once you face them, that door can close and you won't have to face that fear. So there's some sort of change in facing fear. So I feel like you're going in a, new, in a new direction that you never thought you'd go in. So the first one is Eight of Swords. So this says there's a lot of um, struggle in the thinking process, the clarity on what to do about a situation, judging someone's self. This is Queen of Coins. This is Stability, Offering Honesty, and then Princess of Coins. So we have an older, younger here, somebody who is very um, stable, could be learning from an aunt, grandma, mother situation. Feel free to vice versa, masculine, where it would apply to you. And then the next one is Temperance. So I feel like something didn't work out the first time, so it's coming around a second time. There's a reason why something is happening. And then Eight of Cups. So there's some sort of bad karma, and that's why somebody is self-sabotaging in, in their head. Somebody did something. Let's see, Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Coins and the Queen of Cups is somebody honest and offering love that's very stable. And then Judgment. So Judgment talks about... Um, the princess somehow, the younger person, passed a judgment on three people. Something going on around, um, maybe it's like a mom-daughter, and there was something going on with the mom situation. So then you have Eight of Wands. So Eight of Wands is people wanting to communicate. And then Ace of Wands. So Ace of Wands is clarifying the karma and the negative karma and then this ace of wands is attraction physical attraction so somebody feels like their beauty is almost a hindrance almost like a a bad um, bad energy like they can't seem to get out of a certain dip is what I'm feeling so king of wands so king of wands is very flirty very handsome this is somebody who's very physically attractive has a lot of desire and then you have the Hierophant. So the Hierophant talks about somebody had intuition or, or knowledge about other people interfering in a situation they had no business interfering in. And then the world. Wow, so the world is somebody's life changing. A cycle is changing or somebody's life is going to be totally different from what it ever was before. So we have change and then facing your fears here. So I do feel like there's some sort of change coming into your life, Capricorn Aquarius. So let's keep going. We're going with the Mystical Cat Style deck now. I shuffle all these decks before I turn the camera on. So the next one is Ace of Earth. So Ace of Earth is abundance, um, family structure, but I feel like there was illusion around abundance and a family structure. Somebody misled somebody. And then the priest. So the priest talks about somebody having really high uh, morals, really high intuition, really high 
standards here and they're somehow are they involved in the situation is what I'm confused oh the family structure the family structure where there's illusion and then four of earth so four of earth is somebody very selfish somebody trying to take from somebody and then we have sky king so sky king there's a lot of selfish cold energy here around a family structure I feel and then strength for you. Saying that you have strength to override this. Um, somebody trying to make you see something that's not there, I feel. Ace of Sky is you listening to your intuition. So if your body, you're getting ready to do something, your body gets a real twang of a headache all of a sudden. That's like a warning to say, okay, this isn't a good idea. This isn't for your highest good in some way. And you listen to it. If you don't listen to it, you still go. You just met with... Maybe a situation where it's going to be harder than what it should have been if you wouldn't have went. So, fire kitten. Fire kitten is somebody selfish who hurts other people. They don't care that they hurt other people. They hurt themselves. They don't even care. So then you have six of sky. So six of sky is somebody wanting to go away from chaos. Somebody who's in charge of a cold situation where they like triangulate people, get other people to go against each other. And then two of C. So this is true love. You have strength and love to override a situation. Earth King. So some sort of Earth King um, situation where there's somebody in heaven. So I feel like there's a warning around somebody who's in heaven. There are people down here on earth. Somebody, some kind of warning around that situation. And then Earth Kitten. So Earth Kitten, a lot of younger energy. The universe is trying to send somebody in to help you against this person who is very um, self-sabotaging. So Ace of C, look at this. So you have the true love, somebody in heaven, something new coming in, a new job, a new friend, a new move, and then love again. Beautiful. So I'm going to switch to the Oracle of E for you. The next one is Bring It, number 11. So this talks about emotion and communication. So you're ready for the change coming to you. You have addressed the fears that may come up in the situation and you're ready to deal with it accordingly. So the next one is Bazinga 19. So these match 10 and 10. Light is raining on the dark. There's a situation that is going to end for you and once it ends it will be in the past and you're going to be a lot happier by releasing it and letting it go. So the next one is big picture 23 which would be 5 which would match this number back here. So I do feel like there's a big transformation you're healing. You understand that you have the key. Sorry, you have the key to change your life, to heal from a situation. So the next one for you is heart healing number 5. So heart healing talks about your healing from a love that you feel like slipped through your hands. You thought you would have this love your whole life and it was strong and it was durable and it slipped through your hands. It kind of broke you, made you second guess everything, but you're healing from it and you're stronger than ever. So traveler, move in a new direction. So I feel like you see the map there, the geography, the uh, mariner symbol right there. I feel like a lot of you are going in a new direction. You have that here, um, and you're going. You've learned how to only share your energy with people who are deserving of your energy. You've kind of learned not to be so giving of yourself to other people that people will take your energy if you offer it to them. They'll take it all. So be careful. Keep your energy to yourself, and then medicine mother honor your inner inner knowing. So there's something about you that is infinity symbol in there I see that you have instinct there's something that comes up with you in you that instinct kicks in like a mother thing and you know it and you just get these little intuitive thoughts or messages whatever that may be so I hope this helps thank you so much bless you